17. Somebody start reading that. Uh, mm -hmm. 17. Yeah. Somebody will read one through. Uh, and Eli, Eli, the Tishbite, who also was the inhabitant of Gilead, said, <laughs> said unto Ahab, As the Lord liveth, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, therefore whom I stand, there shall not be do nor rain these years, but according to my word, and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook of Sherry, there is before Jordan, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded of the raven. To feed thee, to feed thee there. So he went and did according to the words of the Lord. For he, for he went and did well by the brook Sheree, that it is that is before Jordan. Did you say five? Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. In those verses, um, the Lord was showing me how he uh, told Elijah to go. And when he told him to go, he told me him that everything that he needed was gonna be there. All right, all right, all and right. Elijah didn't say no one word back. He just went. Mm -hmm. he, he he trusted God enough to win. And, and it's like that's what he be, he's telling us now. God gave him a command, and he did that. And he went, and, and he, he was at the birds feed him. And he, he he let the birds feed him, and he let. In, in mind, it said, then the Lord said to Elijah, go to the east and hide, um, and that's in verse 2, and hide by Kirith Brook, near where it enters into enters the Jordan Brook, Jordan River. Drink from the brook and eat what the ravens bring you, for I have commanded them to bring you food. He did all of that. He prepared all of that before he went. It's just like God sent you somewhere, he got your way made. He got everything prepared for you that you need when you get there. All right. Because if, if he tell you something, he, it's just still like God, it's like the, the uh, Philippians say, God will provide all your needs yeah. according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yeah. It, it's still saying, it went back there, it, it's keep saying that God is preparing and he is a provider. Yeah. We just got it. It is even like he was showing me, even like with the word. If I send you with the word, I got the way made for you to get before you get there. All right. I got the way made that they would eat, they would drink, whatever I tell them to, to do. They're going to do it. Whoever, whatever is for you, you eat it. Whatever's not for you, you don't take. Directions, 
you don't look at the uh, normal or the uh, physical part of it. You have to trust God for the spiritual part of it. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of times we look at the outside of the package. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That package by man, by man's standard, <laughs> was dirt. And like he was saying about the, the, yeah. uh, the man of God, he saw the dirty river, but he didn't see the cleanness of the, of the hand of the Lord. Sometimes we look at the dirty thing and think, well, well that's pride in you. You look at the people that we think ought not to have, and they have, and we say, but why God gave it to me? I'm, I'm more than they. Jesus. Not realizing that the less of what you think about a person is not as much as they can do for you. Mm -hmm. So we have to get to the point, to the to, to the uh, thing is that it's not the package. Mm -hmm. it's not. Don't be don't be upset with me. I I don't think myself to be nobody. Jesus. Uh, uh, it was like when when the preacher was talking and they, and they was out there talking and somebody said who is gonna preach and somebody said her. Huh. But they didn't think I heard them, and I just turned around and introduced myself to them. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, it's not what you think of me. Mm -hmm. It's my favor with God. That's right. Amen. Stop letting people stop you from doing the God, the job that God sent you to do. Mm -hmm. And if you don't receive me, it's on you. You yeah. just missed the blessing. Yeah. We got to get to the point. Mm -hmm. It's not the package. Mm -hmm. It might have got rained on. But they had what belonged to you in a little plastic bag inside of the paper bag. And so God has preserved you for such a time as that. So why don't, let's just start saying, God, if you send it, I'll accept it. However you send it. Amen? Amen. Yeah. I see. Morning by morning. Look at that. He, look at the song. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Yeah. And he drank from the brook. But after a while, the brook dried up. All right. For there was no rainfall anywhere in the land. Now look at, look at, look at God. Come on. Come on, walk with me. All right. Come on and walk with me and talk right. with me. Then the Lord said to Elijah, go and live in the village. He said, somewhere else. It would dry it up right there, and then right. you all sit somewhere else. So right. if your, 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 your stuff done dry it up right there, look at God. He's going to send you somewhere else. Right. He's going to make another way. If your, if your job dry it up, he'll send you somewhere else. Yes. If your job ain't making right. human progress where you, what? If yeah. it ain't making progress where you at, he's going right. to send you somewhere. Right. God said he'll make a way out of nowhere. Yes. And he said, I'm the leader. Just follow 
down with me. Yeah. This, 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 wait on, what? God don't do that thing. God don't do it because he said he going God is a God of what? His word. Yes. He is yes. a God of his word. Yes. And, I, yes. and he just said, oh we. But he told them Woo, initially, he said, and Elijah the Tish Tishbite, who was the inhabitant of Gilead, said unto him, as the Lord God liveth, of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall be not there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. So he already told them. He already told him. Sometimes he got to let us see that word fulfilled first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he going to keep us. Come on. Yeah. He going to keep us. Yeah. He going to let us see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he going to keep us. Yeah. Now it dried up. But yeah. what he told him, he said, get up and go somewhere else. Uh -huh. God already know where he's Jesus. taking you. Yeah. Yeah. He already yeah. know what he's planning for you. Go, okay. yeah. go ahead. What you talking about? Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Yeah, okay. Okay. So okay. Like okay. when the drought dry up, like you are the place like on your job, per se. That dried up, something happened, because you won't move. God will make a way. You Man, of course you got to move. You're supposed to be, because uh -huh. it's dried up there, yeah. but you want to live around, and uh -huh. the grass is already dead, but he's telling you it's green over there, so uh -huh. something happened where he had to push you out and get you where you need to be. All right? Yes, 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 do it. Okay. Yes. Well, let us look at it like this. Uh -huh. yes. Even though the brook's dried up, yeah, yeah. there's no no food. How many of us stay in the land? Uh, yeah. That's it. it. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I know my job ain't my job is out, but yet I'm gonna stay there in. Uh, yes. the, the promotion ain't coming, but I'm gonna stay there in. Uh, come on. The land's dried up, there ain't no more water, but I'm gonna stay here anyway. Uh -huh. Thank you, God gonna open it up and gonna bring yeah. more. Yeah. But until I move yeah. into the place where there is water, yes. I'm gonna die in the land. That's yes. right. And how many of us, how many of us like that? Mm -hmm. We said we waiting on God. Mm -hmm. And God points away. Mm -hmm. He done showed us that it is dry. And, and watch this, even with the, you said the dirty birds. Yeah. But he commanded them. Yeah. What if he commanded the eagle? Uh, Ain't the eagle uh, kind of prideful? Yeah. He flies high. Uh, the eagle might have told you, no, I ain't going to be. Uh, <laughs> what if he told the robber? The robber said, I ain't going. Uh, uh, yeah. But he got the bird that would obey. Yeah. I may not be nothing. They, uh -huh. they call me dirty. Uh -huh. They call me ignorant. Yeah. They call me stupid. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, if the Lord say go, I'll go. Uh -huh. Look at me. Uh -huh. Even though the thing is, not only blessed him with food, uh -huh. I'm sure he took care of the rain and do. Because anybody that obey God, he's going to take care of them. Okay. So he took care of the ravens and look. Let me go feed him. When I get home, I know you're going to feed me. That's right. Huh? He'll take care of you. But sometimes we got to move out of a dry place to get what God is calling us to go. But sometimes we just hard-headed. And we'll look and say, hey, that's a, you giving me this and this old brown bag? Why couldn't it be in a box with the name on it? Don't worry about the box. Open up the bag. Because what's in the bag going to sustain you and keep you. Yeah. I better stop. I got to preach now. I don't want to give all my best. Oh, okay. Yes, he can, but he ain't. Uh -huh. 
He can, but he ain't. Somebody need to hear it. He can, but he ain't. Because he knew, he know if he did, there would be your destruction. So when he say move, it's time to move. It's time to move. Quick prick, well, God, why you letting this happen? God said, I ain't let it happen. You let it happen. You stay when I say go. You decided to stay in this land with this dried up grass where I done told you that it's cursed. It ain't going to do no good. It ain't, ain't nothing going to happen until I speak it. And you're not going to force me to speak it. Because it's more than you that's at risk here. It's more than you that's at stake. It's more than just your soul that, that is in jeopardy here. If I let you, if I satisfy you, who all looking at you, who all, who's accounted and appointed to your hands will be lost. Yes. Just so you can be satisfied. Yes. The most important thing that came to me was, hear God. Yes. Hear God and follow his instruction. And don't, don't listen to yourself and second guess it and keep going around. You just keep uh, 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 trying to analyze it and just do it. Just like, like Nike said, just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Even when the word comes to us, and God, you know you heard God. Mm. Speak that thing. Yeah. You know, uh. speak that thing. You know what I'm saying? God, I, I make sure, because I want to make sure because I don't want to give somebody something that he didn't say. I want to get I don't want to give out of my flesh, mm. out of my emotion. That's I want right. to hear just what he said. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, verse 7 but after a while the brook dried up for there was no rainfall here anywhere in the land mm -hmm. then the Lord said to Elijah go and live in the village of Zaphon near the Sidon I have instructed a widow to there to feed you. Now he just wreck the will. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Mm. And, and just like y'all said, well, for, this ain't for her good, her good, or his good, it's for her good. Yeah. So right. when he went to Zafra, as he arrived at the gates of the village, he saw a widow gathering in sticks. And he asked her, would you please bring me a little water in a cup? Mm. And as she was going to get it, he called to her, bring me a bite of bread too. But she had said, I swear by the Lord your God that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house. And I have only a handful of flour left in the jar and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal and then I then my son and I will die. Mm. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. It says this. Hold on. Okay. Make haste, honey. Oh, Make haste. Run. 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 It's in, he instructed the widow. Now, he instructed the widow. This was beforehand. Look how right. it works. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. He told them he instructed the widow. Mm -hmm. So, we look at it like this. When God tells you to do something, you don't know who he has a no! who he has instructed waiting on you You'll to know. get where you need to be. So if our ears are open to his voice, mm. we can get the sound instructions and be in our destinated place. Uh -huh. Because he has already set up the scene for us. No. He has already planted the seed. Somebody already gonna be waiting on you. That's right. So if we be obedient to the small voice that we know we hear mm -hmm. and lead and guide yeah. into what he tells us to do and where he tells us to go, we have somebody waiting on us. We have a word waiting on us. We have a blessing waiting on us. If we move accordingly, mm -hmm. he has everything set in place mm -hmm. waiting on you to get where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Waiting on you to get where you need to go. Look at that. Look, I got everything is planned in stages. Mm -hmm. You being obedient. You get to where you go, right. there's something else waiting on you. Everything lined up. Thank and you. the person that is waiting on you, they get blessed as well. Mm -hmm. It never ran dry after that. You see what I'm saying? 
never run dry. You be obedient to the word of God. He has everything in store for you. We just need to move when he tell us to move. Right. Hallelujah. Can I, can I, can I tell you? Okay, girl, I tell you. Can I, can I, can I tell you? Okay, girl, I Okay, so what she was saying is, okay, so sometimes we ask for signs and the Lord has already gave us a word to go. See? He already gave you a word to go. And all you got to do is go. Why? Because he's already made a way for you. He's already made a way for you. And when you get there and, and the person is being obedient to what the Lord has already told them, and then when they say, Lord, well, I don't have, I don't have, well, guess what? The word is in your mouth to speak. It's all in obedience. That, 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 that's it. It's all in obedience. When he says move, you get up and move. Well, Lord, I don't know what to say. Well, open your mouth. And he'll speak through you. So even, even as, even as Elijah said to the woman, bring me a bite to eat. Just a bite to eat. How many times do we try to outsmart God? She said, I don't have a bite for you. All I have is some flour for me. And my... Listen, God is saying, I know what you got. And I know what you can do with what you got. Just be obedient. Quit trying to outsmart God. Quit trying to out, well, I can outthink God, and I can, I can maneuver this thing, and I can make it the way I want it to be if I just break it down. And God is saying, I know what you got. After all, I gave that to you. And if I gave that to you, I want to give you more, but I can't give you more until you're obedient. And once you're obedient, then I can bless you. But we're too busy trying to be up here in our own mind, trying to outsight ourselves and trying to outsight God, trying to tell God, this is all I can do. And God said, no, that ain't all you can do. I know what you got, baby. And I know what you can do with what you got. Just be obedient. The Lord showed me something a uh, 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 year back. This lady who didn't look like she had nothing, and I, I know she didn't have nothing because she had borrowed from me a couple of days before. And she brought the money back, and I said, "Now, nah, baby, you go ahead and keep it. Uh, you go ahead and keep it. I said, because you, you take care of you and the children. She said, Bishop, would you please take this because I'm asking God for a blessing. And I'm thinking, if, listen, sometimes the, the person you want to bless, looking at the, you look at the package too. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, she said, so please take it. So when I took the money, she called me back and she said, Bishop, my brother called me and told me he was going to bring me my money by that he owed me. Mm -hmm. What did then she say to me? She said, don't hinder my blessing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Don't hinder my blessing. Mm -hmm. If you don't think they can afford it, let that be between them and God. Uh -huh. Because if it's between them and God, he owns the cattle and the hills thereof. Mm -hmm. One lady said to me one time, Bishop, when God slaughtered that cat, one of the cattle that is on a thousand hills for you, mm -hmm. I want to be there. Mm -hmm. She said, because he owned the cattle and the hills thereof. He can slay a cattle, it, one of the cows, anytime he want to, to feed you. Yeah. The raven knew where the food was because God had put it in him. Yeah. It's up to you to receive that from those people who you think don't have nothing. Mm. Because their blessing depends on you taking. And once you take it, God will bless you. And stop acting like, listen. Sometimes I tell God, I ain't got enough money. Come on, uh, 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 Alice, because Miss Ann ain't going to get fine. Uh, I used to say, God, I ain't got enough to pay my bills, so I might as well put it in church. I ain't got enough. Guess what I did? I put that not enough in church. Before I left church, God had spoken to somebody to be a blessing to me. See, the thing about it is you're not paying God nothing. Nothing. You just return to God a portion of what he gives you. Oh, God. Obedient. God gave us instruction. He said, it will, don't rob me. 
Don't rob me. Pay your tithes and offering. That's all he asks, tithes and offering. All this other stuff people trying to get from you. If you won't have it, don't give it. Stop giving out of, what I call it? Out of the flesh. Stop giving out of the flesh because the flesh don't reap nothing but flesh. But when you give out of obedience, as unto the Lord. The Lord might have told Elder George to give $20. And she stand up and said, the Lord told me to tell everybody to give $20. What if everybody don't have $20? You putting, you putting a yoke on them. He told you get up and do what he told you to do. And then God will be glorified and you will be blessed. It's not what you're looking at. Sometimes the poor up people that look like you, you, you read about it when, when they find somebody dead and then they imagine they got millions of dollars mm -hmm. and they look like they couldn't afford a Pepsi mm -hmm. and they could have bought it all, but they died with it. And guess who going to spend it? Their children. Amen. Anybody else before Frankie go on? Anybody? I mean, Amen. Mother Amy. Okay, bitch, I say this to say that. <laughs> you, every time I get ready to bless you, you hinder me. <laughs> Leave me alone. You right. <laughs> <laughs> you right. Let me get it. <laughs> Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I want to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> every time I get it, she's absolutely right. I said, and, uh-uh, uh-uh, and, and. And then if she give me some money and we going out somewhere, I said, I'll pay. Listen, it's hard to be a receiver when you've been a giver all your life. So Ann, you busted, you, you busted me out. I'm busted out. And I do apologize and may the Lord keep you and give you some more money to give me. <laughs> Okay. Good word. Good teaching. Um, verse 7 12 says, But she, she said, I swear. No, I read that didn't. Yeah. Okay. But Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. That's, ah, that's it. Go ahead and do just what you said, but make a little bread for me first. Then use what's left to prepare a meal for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. There will always be flour and olive left, left to you in your containers until time, till the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. So she said, so she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah Elijah and her family continued to eat for many days. And there was enough flour and the olive left in the containers just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. Somebody go ahead and Y'all want to say something on that? Uh, I was looking at. Uh, how many times do we hear? Fear not. Fear not. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that came out of his mouth. Fear not. And if she had feared, what might happen after she gave? him that cake, she wouldn't have got it done. That's right. Mm -hmm. She would have died, the son would have died, and the man of God would probably been sent somewhere else. Mm -hmm. All right. Because he did what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. How many of us is sitting up? Jesus. <coughs> my, my, my. Thinking mm -hmm. that Jesus. what we got, Jesus. Is for us mm. uh, and mm. won't obey God Jesus. and give it to uh. who he 
telling us to get to and letting them die. Ah. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he was like telling me, when she said, it's that big. Not, don't be afraid. You know how I always talk about how scared I am. Uh-huh. God said, stop saying that. Jesus. Help me, Lord. I said, Lord, y'all pray for me because something be a habit. You know, you still continue. Yeah. So I'm going to stop saying I'm afraid. Because this morning, God gave me some boldness this morning. I got yeah. up here and I, did I say something? Yeah. No, I ain't saying nothing. I said, I, I said, God, all I want to do is that. Just be your word and get to your people. That's all I want. Just be your word and get to your people. And he let me get put it down last night. And I couldn't even go any further. But he, just, the child, I know God did this thing this morning. He did this thing. He said, don't be afraid. What? Frank ain't scared his mouth. If you don't get it, you don't get it. That's on you. That's on you. Like my, my, my brother-in-law said, that's on you, dog. Okay? It's on you. Uh-huh. It's on you if you don't get it. Because we ain't going to be afraid. Everybody in here ain't got no business being afraid. He said, get a word, get a word. Get a word. If you say, sing a song, sing a song. Whatever God say, do. He already prepared the way. He already made the way. He already made it. Somebody else got something. Now he said, he said, don't be afraid. But the woman was only thinking about today. He was thinking about the future. Yes, If you eat what you got now, you'll die. But if you feed me first, look what the Lord's going to do to you. I'll fill your barrel. And every time you dip in the barrel, there'll be more in the barrel. And it won't run out until the rain comes. So we got can't be afraid, and then we got to be obedient. That's right. So so, so what are we gonna do? We gonna be afraid and miss the blessing? Mm. And like you say, like you say, if the blessing won't be in the house, mm. and I turn the blessing down, right. guess what? He's gonna go bless somebody else. Yes, he is. And then when I see them, it almost like obey. <laughs> When David wanted to walk back, yes, sir. when he looked at OBE, he just looked down there, man, they just blessing his house. Oh, they just blessing his house. Yeah. I want it back. Because yeah. I know who the blessings is. Yeah. So now that blessing had to walk off over to Bishop's house. Oh, Ain't nothing coming to Walter's house. Oh, right. But then I want what blessing she had. Yeah. But it was already here. Oh, but because I was afraid, oh. I lost that. Yeah. Like that. We Jesus. lose out because we're afraid right. to believe. Sometimes, he, now he was a prophet, came to her house. Yeah. How many times the woman of God or the man of God come to your house and tell you what the Lord going to do for you uh. and you say, no, uh-uh. mm. we start remember what you did last year, That's yeah. right. what you did in your past, mm. how you showed out in the store and all that. Mm. It, it ain't about that. Mm. It's about the word of God that I'm giving you to be blessed. And every time, I, I think about that, every time she dipped in the barrel, oh. not only did her son, I think it said in there, her family is. It's right. safe. Yeah. It's just yeah. what it yeah. says. Just yeah. what it says, Pastor. It says, and she went and did mm-hmm. according to the sayings of Elijah, and she, mm-hmm. and he, mm-hmm. and her whole household oh. did mm-hmm. eat many days. Yeah. Yeah. Many days. You be obedient today. And your whole household go eat yeah. many days. Uh-huh. Now, y'all listen. You better be obedient. Yeah. So your house don't storm. Yeah. Who go listen? We don't know who come to the house today, tomorrow, the next day. That's right. God may have somebody else to come. Right. You can't give them nothing that you ain't got nothing. Right. Be obedient today mm-hmm. for your plenty in tomorrow. Amen. Right. Amen. If somebody ain't got it, it's First King, Kings chapter 17. That's where we at, First Kings chapter 17. We are on verse uh, 15 and 16 now. What he said about fear, don't fear. Mm-hmm. Think about this. He told her, feed me today. Right, right, right. Now you already know what you got. Mm-hmm. You're like, you're, you're, you're in your mind now. Mm-hmm. Just think about that. Mm-hmm. God speak a word to mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ha. And he tell you to step uh, out, uh, and you uh, like, hey, uh, you know, uh, my pocket. You start thinking about your pockets, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. said, step out, yeah, and there you go, yeah, money. Yeah. That's when we must elevate that faith within, on, us, within us. 
Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. God says, I stand moved. She didn't give no hesitation, but look what happened when she obeyed. Obey. Mm. She was blessed abundantly, mm. and God proved what he said. Uh -huh. yeah. If we step out when God tell us to, mm -hmm. you got to elevate that faith yeah. despite of what it looked like. That's the problem. We looking at what's going on. We looking at the natural eye, what we see. Instead of focusing, he said, and this is it. A spoken word. God said, you know, a spoken word. God said, that's that's what we need to linger on. God said to step out. You ain't stepping out in yourself. Now, God said step out. You know he's going to be with you every step of the way. That door can't close on you because God opened it. God opened it. Can't nobody close that door once he opened it? God told you to step out when you walk into that door and he told you to move. They can't close that door for me. It don't matter what man say. Who is me? Who is me? Who is me? God says move, you move. And then I then it came to me, 
and I might be wrong with it, man, get, get me uh, right if I'm wrong. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. and all these other things will be added unto you. Mm -hmm. All right. All these other things will be, that, that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first, because he told me to fix the Lord first. Mm -hmm. So all these other things will be added if we just do that first. Mm -hmm. That first, just, and, and all these other things will be added. Continue on, even when it don't look like nothing. Mm -hmm. Even though when it don't look like nothing coming to me. Keep on seeking God. That's right. And all these other things will be added unto me. Yes. Just keep seeking. Mm -hmm. And at the time when you read the rest of it all the way to uh, the last. I ain't got no last. Okay. okay. Somebody read it for me. What we get to? The 17 through uh, 24. 17 Yeah. <laughs> and and that, that 17 kind of. Uh, uh, them two right there. Stop on them two for a minute. Oh, but the two seventeen. Mm -hmm. And it came past after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick, and his sickness was so sore that there was no breath left in him. And she said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee? O thou man of God, art thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance and to slay my son? Mm. Mm. Uh, he, my, my Bible said it, uh, it's the uh, life application. Sometime later, the woman's son became sick. Mm -hmm. He grew worse and worse. Mm -hmm. And finally, he died. Mm -hmm. Then he said to Elijah, oh, then she said to Elijah, O oh, man of God, what have you done to me? Have you come here to point out my sins and kill my son? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, it, to me, it's like the enemy tried to make a doubt of what God already done. Mm -hmm. and, and God still, even though this happened, God got her. Mm -hmm. he, he's still going to take care of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Um, when you read that, See, you got to remember the promises that God gave you. Yeah. You got to remember them. Mm -hmm. uh, when 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 Tread was little, mm -hmm. everybody prophesied that he was going to be a great man of God. Mm -hmm. She betrayed the Marquis, mm -hmm. men and women of God. Mm -hmm. And that day, when he had a seizure and stopped breathing, right. and I started praying, and I told Sheba and Marquis, run down to Grandma's house and get Grandma. And so they ran down to Grandma's house and they got her and, 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 and they stayed down there and Grandma came and she looked over there and I said, Mama, don't look at that dead thing because that ain't what God promised me. Mm -hmm. He said this boy going to preach and he's going to do the gospel and we ain't going to look at it. I said, don't even look at it. Mm -hmm. And me and her started praying. Well, by the end, I, they had dialed 911 and, uh, and I said, we just going to keep on praying. Me and Mama went into praying and I said, God, you promised me that this child gonna preach your gospel. Mm -hmm. You, the prophet said it, mm -hmm. and you said if I believe them, even if they was a lying prophet, yeah. you will make it come That's to pass. Right. Hallelujah! Yeah. So I said, I believe your word, God. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he just yeah. and start breathing. Yeah. And by that time, after he started breathing, the ambulance came, and they came in and they said, ma'am, what's wrong? And I said, he had stopped breathing, he had a seizure. And everything. he said, we need to take him to the hospital to get him checked out. I said, well, he okay. He said, just let us check him out so it won't be no doubt in your mind. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Yeah. In my mind. In See, because the enemy would have tried to torment me all uh -huh. night long. Mm -hmm. What if? Uh -huh. What if this or what if that? Mm -hmm. So when they took him, and on the way back, I said to Trez, I said, Trez, you usually tell me when you were going, when you going to have a seat. And he said, Mama, I was just tired. I was just tired. Mm -hmm. But I was on the bed. They had made a pallet on the floor. Mm -hmm. And the Lord told me to get up and look at him. Mm -hmm. And I just sit up in my bed and look at him. I said, hmm, something ain't right. And I called Sheba. She got up. Called Marquise. He got up. Called Trez. He didn't get up. Mm -hmm. And then I knew then the enemy was playing a game. Mm -hmm. So when I told him, go call Grandma and stay down in Grandma's house, and, and me and mama, we were praying, we were rebuking the enemy and everything, and, 
and, and, and giving God his word back. See, the wood woman said to him, did you come here to take my blessing? You prophesied to me. The man of God spoke my child to life. Now he can't even bring it back from the dead. Listen, y'all. If God gives you something, don't let the devil take you. Don't let it. You pray God's word. He said, give me my word. God's word said that you've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Now, listen, don't get proud for it. He said, begging. Mm -hmm. That's when, when I need something, I say, I ain't begging. I'm just asking. Because mm -hmm. the Lord said I could ask you. Mm -hmm. And people say, every time you turn around, she begging. No, I let you know I'm not begging. But I'm asking. The Lord, get the, and, and so when the widow woman confronted the prophet, did you did you give me a child so you can show my sin? Yeah. Yeah. And the prophet, he he, he worked, mm -hmm. he worked on that little boy. Mm -hmm. He worked on that child. He laid on top of him, flowed, and went to God. Got back up. Listen, you can. Go to God and you say, I done been one time. I ain't going back no more. Okay, stay there. Mm -hmm. Miss out on your blessing. That's right. You got to build up your most holy prayer, mm -hmm. faith, mm -hmm. by going to God That's right. and seeking his faith. Mm -hmm. There have been times the Lord told me to give, and I didn't have to give, but when I gave what I had, mm -hmm. he gave me more. He gave me a hundred step back. Mm -hmm. The will of woman gave a bite, That's right. mm -hmm. but she ate until the drought was over. How about that job? Mm -hmm. How many people want to eat till the drops over? Mm -hmm. Out of the little bit of bite that you gave. Mm -hmm. And now God keeping his word to you. Yes. Amen? Amen. Go ahead, Frankie. Okay. But Elijah replied, give me your son. And he took the child's body from her arms and carried him up the stairs to the room where he was staying and laid the body on his bed. Then Elijah cried out to the Lord, O oh, oh Lord, my God, why have thou, why have thou brought tragedy to this widow who has opened her home to me, causing her son to die? And he stretched himself over the child three times and cried out to the Lord, O oh Lord, my God, please let this child life return to him. And the Lord heard Elijah's prayer. And the life of the child returned, and he re revived, and he revived. And then Elijah brought him down from the upper room and gave him to his mother. Look, he said, your son is alive. And then the woman told Elijah, now I know for sure that you are a man of God, yeah. and that the Lord truly speaks through